Today on The Joy of Editing, I want to take a look at the new update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 1.5.2. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. And yes, we have another update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 1.5.2. Let me start off with taking a look at the new changes in this update. I'll come up here to help inside of Topaz Photo AI and click on release notes. That'll take me to my web browser and it'll take me to the release notes. Let me go ahead and expand this. And let's click on this latest release note, Topaz Photo AI version 1.5.2. And as you can see, here's all the other release notes. So let's click on this and see what we got here. Let me go ahead and scroll up to the top here and see what we got. This week's update contains improved handling for raw files. It also has some performance improvements and an updated right panel when selecting faces. Okay, and here's some examples here. And looks like it says this mainly affects raw images that have non-horizontal orientation. In other words, you can see like these are grasses going vertically. Let's go ahead and click on this and let's get a look here. Let me zoom in so we can really see. So if we look over on the right hand side, see the uh, problem we have here, see these lines showing up in the image here. Now, if we compare it to the image on the left, which is 1.5.2, we can see that they are pretty much not there or greatly reduced. So this is 1.5.2 and this is the previous version 1.5.1 and you, you can see the lines in there. Okay, so that's one example. And let me click to the next example here. And let's zoom in here. This is 1.5.1 over here. Okay, so if we look here, we can see there's those lines again over on this side. And we can see some right in here. Now let's go over to the new version 1.5.2. And as we can see, they're pretty much gone. So check that out. If you've been noticing issues like that, that should be fixed. And now let me scroll down and let's take a look at the changes. Updated the raw photo pipeline to fix aliasing and color fringing, which I just showed you. Fixed crashes and poor performance on NVIDIA A series GPUs. Updated design for the face selection panel. We'll get a look at that. Fixed subject only toggle sometimes being untoggleable when there is a subject selected. Auto upscaling preferences can now be based on inches or centimeters. Update lens fun. Now, I always wondered what, what the heck is lens fun? And I did a little bit of research and let me show you. I'll link this web page in the description below this video, but this is lens fun and it says welcome. This site is all about the lens fun library. What is it you may ask? And then you could read up on this, but I never knew what this was, and I still don't actually know what it is. But digital photographs are not ideal. Of course, the better is your, ca the better is your camera, the better the results will be. But in any case, if you look carefully at shots taken, even by the most expensive cameras, equipped with the most expensive lenses, you will see various artifacts. It is very hard to make ideal cameras because there are a lot of factors that affect the final image quality. And at some point, camera lens designers have to trade one factor for another to achieve the optimal image quality within the given design restrictions and budget. But we all want ideal shots, don't we? So that's what lens fun is all about, rectifying the defects introduced by your photographic equipment. So apparently Topaz are using lens fun to correct issues from camera lenses, I guess. So you may want to read up. I don't know all about this, but I'm just giving you this page so you could check it out for yourself in case you were wondering what the heck is the updated lens fun. Well, this is all about lens fun and you can read about it here. Okay, now let's look at uh, Topaz Photo AI version 1.5.2. Just a couple things I want to show you here. If we come up to Topaz Photo AI and click and click on preferences, under autopilot and uh, upscaling, you can now work with uh, inches and centimeters. So if we click this drop down, we can see you could set an output size and here's where you'll find it. I have mine just set for enhanced small images. And but if you click set output size, you can see here where it says scale. Right now it's upsizing two times here. So if you click the drop down and if you click on either width or height, you can see you can now have pixels 
inches or centimeters. So that is the change right there. So you can have pixels, inches, or centimeters. I'm just going to click cancel for now. But that was one thing. And then the other thing deals with the recovering of faces. And I just chose this stock image because it has a lot of faces on it. And it deals with, when, we're, when we click on recover faces, we can select faces here, or you could come up here to the top and select faces. And if you hover over faces detected, you can see the faces that are detected. But let's click select faces. And the interface has changed here a little bit. It's a lot cleaner, I think. So we have choices. You can select all the faces by clicking right here, and it'll select all 18. And in preferences, I have my photo AI set up to detect all low quality faces. If you click this button, it will only select the low quality faces, and there are 16 in this image. Clicking this button, you're only going to select the faces that will be found in the subject, or none. Now, in this image, I have a bunch of faces, and if I go ahead and click on low quality faces and apply that, we can see this face doesn't look right. Uh, this face is off, it doesn't look correct. Neither does this face, nor this face either. So in a case like this, I would go back and click on select faces. On a case like this, I would probably start out with none by clicking on none. And let's say this guy is definitely a good face in this image. So I want him and I want this guy right here and possibly this person right here. Maybe that guy, but I don't think so. And let's click apply. So now you can see I have his face recovered, his face is recovered and his face is recovered. And those other faces that were looking weird back here no longer look weird. But so that is a new update here under select faces. You have this interface here, but I think it's a lot cleaner. And you can see here I've chosen three out of 18 faces, but you have choices, select all low quality faces in subject and none. And then you can always toggle on, like I could toggle this guy's face on or off. So whatever you want to do there. And then you just click apply. But that is the change right there. But that's kind of it. A short video today, but I just wanted to show you the ongoing process of uh, Topaz Photo AI constantly updating this product and making it better and better and better. Well, there it is, everyone. Let me know what you think of this new update in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, and then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing!